All right, so in this bonus video, we are going to learn how to create a custom conversion. Now, a custom conversion can be many different things, and I will show you what it could be, and this specifically is for actions taken on your website, right? So if you are promoting your website specifically, and let's say you have a contact form after somebody contacts you most of the time they're sent to a thank you page right so now what happens is that site visitor comes to your website sees your form fills it out and is sent to the thank you page now you'd be able to track that as a custom conversion because within Facebook Unless you're utilizing the events that it's already laid out for you in the options, and it's kind of, it can be difficult to set those things up. So without having to be a web designer or know a bunch of coding, I'm going to show you how to set that up so that you can track and see exactly what is being, the actions that are being taken on your site, right? So in order to get to custom conversions, we go to the hamburger menu. Go to all tools, third one in, custom conversions, right? You're gonna select that. Now, when you get to custom conversion page, you'll have a different looking setup. Usually it'll have like a green button here that says start or you know, create a custom conversion, but that same button is available here, right? So you'll hit the button. Now you'll see the first option that wants you to add a URL. Right now, everything that you add here is going to define what this custom conversion is. So the options that it gives you, as you can see, is the URL contains. Now, in my opinion, I would stick to this instead of doing the URL equals, right? Because, you know, let's just say that somebody on your staff goes through and maybe change changes one of the location pages unless that URL that you've made the, the actual custom conversion for is specifically the same as the new page they made, it will not register, right? So the URL contains is the option that I like to select. Uh, the URL equals is if you want specifically that web address to be tracked. Right now, the URL contains does the same thing, but once again, like I said, if somebody on your team goes through and changes something within the website, unless it has that exact URL there, it won't register anymore, right? And then you can also choose events too. And depending how you set your events up, it will drop down the options right within here. So for the sake of this, perp of this video, we're going to do URL contains. Now, Let's just say your website is yourwebsite.com, right? So this would be your homepage, right? Whatever your domain name is. Now, if you wanted to track a conversion as the following, you could do it like this. And if somebody came to your homepage and they visited maybe right so what this is going to register as and the only way that it would track is if somebody went to your home page and your contact us page so first they would have to visit your home page and then go to your contact us page and it would register this conversion, right? And you can choose the appropriate category, whether it was a lead, a purchase, a form fill out, whatever it might be, it's up to you, right? You'll define it however you choose to. But for this example, this conversion will only track and trigger if these two parameters are met. Now let's say somebody goes to your homepage and goes to another site that's maybe, uh, excuse me, another page on your site that's 
yourwebsite.com slash about us and then goes to your contact page, this will not trigger. This will not trigger. So this is kind of getting a little more extensive with the tracking. If you wanted to see, hey, someone comes to my homepage and then goes to my contact us page or maybe my about us page, whatever the combination of pages that you want to stack in together, you could do that. But just know that unless they literally follow those exact steps, it will not register as an as a actual custom conversion. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to And let's just say it was think dash you and that this represents I just copied it so that this page let's just say that as I was mentioning earlier somebody comes to your website and they fill out your contact form it does not matter where your contact form is located right anywhere on your site because some people have a contact form on every page some people have a contact form only on the contact us form or excuse me, contact us page. It really just depends. But what I did here was I took it to the slash thank you page and that would be the action that there is basically being set after somebody submits a form, right? So no matter where on your site they submit the form from, all this custom conversion is doing is tracking whenever somebody has actually completed a form fill out. So once again, no matter what page they come from prior to filling out the form, all this specific custom conversion right here is doing is just tracking after they filled the form out. So for this purpose, I would say that that would register as either a lead or maybe they completed the registration. Now, once again, I like to do the URL contains and not the equals for the purpose of if something within this string of actual um, the domain URL, excuse me, and the extension page changes, it will not register this. So I like to per personally use contains. So they've come through, they filled the form out, and they made it to the thank you page. We're now, we're going to now classify this as a lead, and we'll hit next. And you can enter a description, right? Um, contact it. Whatever you choose to, right? This is just going to be the name of my, the way I'm naming it, right? Now you can add a description, whatever it might be. Interested in finding out about a mortgage. This can be a little more extensive if you're wanting to you know, have a specific description on whatever this custom conversion is. Now what's neat about this too, if you see this last portion, it says set a conversion value. You know, everybody has different tracking levels that they like to, you know, implement and the way that they want to track things. But maybe you say, hey, for every form fill out, that's worth at least $50 to the company, right? But maybe you don't have to have a form fill out value. It's completely up to you. But this is a way to gauge your money, right? If, if a form fill out does equal some type of revenue, by all means, put that in here. If not, it's not a big deal, right? So then all we would do is come through and hit create. Now, I don't know if you noticed in the back, this one had actually appeared already but you'll now be able to see that it will appear in the backside of, of you know, your actual um, custom conversion portions and, and the availability that you can see. So let's go ahead and do another one real quick. Once again, we'll just do something simple. Actually, I'll do a little more extensive on this one. Let's say they came to the home page. They went to the contact us and 
they made it to a thank you, right? So they came to the home page. They went to the contact us page and then they actually filled out the form. This is what this would look like, right? Now, if we wanted to, maybe you didn't want to track this like that, not a problem, right? So maybe you're like, hey, you know what? Let's just track and see how many people are actually going from the home page and then actually making it to the contact us page. And let's let's register it and count it as uh, you know a complete registration. Whatever you choose to. I mean, it it's really up to you. However, you want to define it in here, right? So actually, this would probably be more of a view content because really, unless they took an action, that's really all they're doing is just viewing the content, right? So. We can go through here, contact us page view. Look at the contact us page. So this is all this is defining, really. They've come to the home page and went to the contact us page. I would then create this as a conversion. Right? Now if we wanted to, I'm going to come through in here and make another, I see that one didn't register now, I notice, I think it's not adding because I'm not using the correct URL. It's based within this particular account. So um, let's say for the sake of this example, and I have to enter the client's uh, domain name for this to register. So let's say they went to the home page. In this situation, they went to, contact us and they actually went to the thank you page afterwards so that i mean if you wanted to you could you can go pretty extensive here right so i mean there's really no limit of the amount of steps that somebody could do or take in order for you to classify this as an actual conversion so just know that you can customize these conversions however you want, right? Whatever you see fit. If you want to track specific actions, specific URLs, I mean, I mean, maybe you don't even want them to register on the homepage, right? That's not a big deal. I mean, you can eliminate that portion, right? But a lot of people like to track things differently and certain data means different things to everybody. So for the sake of this example, they came to the homepage. They went to the contact us page and they actually filled out a form. So now let's just say, we'll count that as a lead, right? So now this lead will only count if they meet all three of these criteria. Again, filled out contact us form. Didn't register, I seen that one just kick in. So let me go ahead and refresh that real quick. I'm just like be able to have, excuse me, I would like to be able to have you see this. So now you see this one, there's no activity yet because nothing's happened for that. And it'll let you know right here, right? We haven't received any activity for this custom conversion yet. So Facebook's letting you know, hey, you set that up, but there's really, there's nothing going on. So, which is not a big deal. Obviously, we just set this up, so I don't expect there to be anything, but Facebook will let you know if there's if it's active, as you see, and if it's not, as you see here. So you can, I mean, there's so many different ways to create a custom conversion. You know, maybe there's a specific product that you offer, right, that's specifically for veterans, right? So let's just say it's uh, your website.com slash uh, mortgage loans. Okay, so maybe that's your general mortgage loans page. And then from there, we're saying, hey, after they visit that page, if somebody goes to our veterans loans page, 
from the general mortgage loans one, we're going to create, count that as an as a actual conversion. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna count it as they viewed the content, right? Well, perfect. So you have this one, and literally say, hey, viewed veterans, one page. So they viewed it, viewed the veterans one page. from general mortgage page. So now it's defining exactly what they've done, right? So that one just appeared here. Now what I'm going to do is, I didn't, I figured it would let me duplicate it, but it changed up some of the system recently. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's just say that we wanted to kind of play off of that last one, right? Somebody that viewed the veterans loan page. So we're gonna do the same thing. It'll be yourwebsite.com. They went to the mortgage loans page. They went to the veterans loan page. And So now I'm saying, hey, they went to the mortgage loans page, they went to our veterans play page, and then now they actually filled out the form on that page, and now we're going to classify this as a lead, All right? So, fill out veterans loan contact form. And, that, and that's that, I mean, it's, it's now counting this, right? This one, as you can see, was now just created. So there's many options that you have when setting up a custom conversion. And this is how we would do it. And this is where we would do it. Once again, we come up to the hamburger menu, all tools, and then go to custom conversions. From here, we actually create the conversion that we wanna track and define. And you, once again, like I mentioned, you can track one single URL if you wanted to. You could track two URLs, being that they had to do two steps. You could track three, I mean, four, five, six. I mean, it can get very, very extensive. I don't think that anybody's going to be utilizing that many URLs, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. So I just want you to have a complete and clear understanding of how to do it if you chose to take all those steps. So. In the meantime, dig in, go and create a custom conversion, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be exactly what you're going for right now. All, it, all I want you to do is just get in there and create it just so that you're familiar with how to do it. So, all right, we'll be on to the next video. See you then.